Hello, 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 and welcome back to Hunter Tuned. Today we are doing something a little different, maybe? Um, so there's a car that popped up on Craigslist. Uh, I think it's been on there for a couple weeks now. Uh, the ad is very vague, um, and it just said, like, I'm parting this car out. Let me know what you need. Uh, very brief, not much description, bad pictures, etc., which is exactly what I like to look for when I'm buying a cheap car. So uh, it just said like part out, let me know what you want or whatever kind of thing. So I called him and uh, talked to the guy on the phone a little bit and he said you can have the whole car for 250 bucks. It is a EG sedan, uh, EG Civic. I think it's like a 92. Uh, it has a D16 Z6 and it has, it still has the motor and transmission. It's a D16 Z6 motor. So um, I figure what the hell, maybe we should go just go pick this thing up because well, Michael or Christian's probably going to need a freaking motor at some point here soon, and it's got a, tr a transmission. Michael might need a transmission. Uh, we could literally, uh, you know, sell the motor and transmission for probably what we pay for the car, and then we can have like a free shell. So, anyways, uh, this car is missing a few things. Um, a guy said on the phone that it's missing a rear bumper and a front bumper, and it's missing the taillights and exhaust. Uh, so it is missing quite a few things, but for 250 bucks, can't really complain. Um, we may not uh, take the motor and trans out of it. I was actually thinking about using it as a daily um, because uh, the CRX and the hatch, I'm going to be taking both of them apart and doing motor swap and motor rebuild on both of them. So I won't really have a Honda to daily drive. And if I'm driving my truck every day back and forth to the shop, um, it, it's like probably about $100 a week in gas just because, uh, well, it's a 2,500 pickup truck and it gets like 10 miles a gallon. So, so honestly, even just in gas savings, if I bought this car, it might even be worth it. Uh, he said the car was missing the ECU too, which really sucks because um, that car would have had a P28. But uh, I do have a P06 here. I do have a couple, like a P30 and some other ECUs. I'll probably just throw something in there to slap in for now. Um, and uh, yeah, so we should be able to get this thing running. Uh, we were thinking about, I was thinking about maybe just making a joke out of it or like, uh, who knows, maybe we can use it as like a demo drag racing car or something because I know Cletus and Cars, or no, there isn't a Cletus and Cars that's coming up uh, in my area, but uh, I'm sure we can find some fun to do with it. Uh, we can make it an ice racing car or like, uh, or just daily it, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out with it. I think it'd be a fun little project and uh, not much expense. Which is all, which is what the channel's about, really. So, and I did want to mention too, because in the last video we did get some fan mail in, and I've had a couple emails. Uh, I mean, I've had a bunch of emails in the past year or so uh, since I've had the channel here. Everybody asks if I have a PO box, and uh, I do. I actually just got a PO box today, so I will be putting the PO box in the description of the video here, and probably all the videos from here on out there will be a PO box down in the description. You can send stuff in if you guys want. If you guys want to send in snacks and stuff for the shop from Amazon Prime Pantry, go right ahead. Or if you want to send some cool car parts or some stickers for your shop or business or a banner or something like that for us to hang up at the shop or whatever, feel free. Uh, check out the description below and you guys can send in cool stuff to Hunter Tuned to be featured into a video. So without further ado, this car doesn't have wheels and tires. So I'm trying to find, I have a couple wheels and tires here laying at my house that I, I think I got two wheels and tires here and then I'm probably gonna have to go to the shop and get two other wheels and tires so we can actually have this car be able to roll um, and then once we get the wheels and tires and lug nuts uh, probably gonna go pick up a tow dolly and then head up there to go check out this car alrighty guys so I did end up picking the $250 Honda Civic up uh, I towed it to the shop last night uh, I didn't really film much because it was dark out and uh, yeah we just got a tow dolly and then I towed it down here we just moved some cars around in the shop and uh, we already got the damn thing running. So this is a four-door EG with a Z6, no exhaust, didn't come with any, uh, like I was mentioning. I just threw some wheels on it that I had laying around. Uh, we took it through the mud last night and uh, I'm just kidding. That, tr that trailer flung up a bunch of mud onto it, but whatever. So uh, the guy was telling me it needed a wiring harness and uh, that was why it did not run. So we tore into the car a little bit and I uh, went to hook a battery up to it. We got a battery hooked up on it and uh, turned the key forward and I immediately noticed that there was no check engine light in the dash. So uh, they ripped the bulb out because the main relay was still clicking and the fuel pump was still coming on. So uh, that just leads me to assume that they ripped the bulb out of the dash. So I 
proceeded to crank it over and see why it wasn't running and it just sounded like it was off a of time and uh, we ripped out this uh, old crusty rusty ass belt and uh, found out that the up arrow was facing left when it was supposed to be up and the crank pulley was off like seven teeth or something crazy right. so these guys are ripping the hood off right now because we don't have battery cables And we just currently have a ground running to here, just some random one and a vice grips, and then a vice grips on the power wire because we have no raining in the back of my car. Because we have no uh, battery connections on it, so we have to get a battery connection situation figured out on it. They had the power steering way over full, so it leaked out a little bit. And uh, everything else was good though, like it has oil in it, and it has uh, all the wiring was right. We checked over all the wiring. And uh, sure shit, when I put the belt in the right spot, this thing cranked right up. She fired right up, so. Uh, yeah, I want to pull it outside and show you guys this gem. Which wiper fluid doesn't even fucking... Whatever, $200 car, man. Wanna film me pulling off? Sure! Give me that bitch! Okay. <laughs> um, well, these are tight, the terminals are tight. But we should, uh, yeah, forgot to do something with this thing right here. Perfect. Tuck that there. There's, there's, oh, bungee cord. Tuck the uh, O2 sensor oh. underneath the radiator. Breathe in good air. Yeah. We're good. This thing's a gem, dude. It's got power windows and they all work. Yeah. Power locks all work. We kind of voted K swap. Yeah. Somebody wants to donate all the shit, we'll do it. I ain't paying for it <laughs> you need new fenders. The, fender. hey, the rest hey, of the car, fresh paint the rest of the car is pretty damn clean though. I mean, all are no exhaust. I like the clear uh, side markers. Yeah. Oh, only one. Okay, we got one yellow side marker yeah. and we got one clear one. Nice. Look at that uh, 150 mile an hour bumper, dude. Yeah, that's that's track. I think this guy was going half mile racing that's with this car. Texas 2K right there. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking this thing down to the freaking. Oh yeah, needs front fenders and a bumper, and then oh, needs a rear bumper, but. This thing's not rotted at all. There like it's really not. It. No, it needs taillights and a rear oh, bumper too. Those are fine. And some coil loggers. Yeah. And get rid of this one. <laughs> I was just about what the fuck is that? Yeah. So yeah, this thing. Uh, I kind of. I mean, I'm pretty confident with Honda stuff. Like I'm not really scared to buy a car that doesn't run because most of the time it's something simple That's like what? the timing belt what? or uh, I've bought in cars where the valve lash was uh, too tight. I've bought in cars where. Uh, you know, a sensor wasn't plugged in right, or a ground was an issue, a thermostat ground, or something like that. These Hondas are pretty easy for me, so. <laughs> Diamond in the rough. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny, too. The kid that I bought it from said that he had a couple Honda mechanics looking at the car and they couldn't figure it out. They said it needed a wiring harness. Sure did. A couple Honda mechanics. A couple Honda mechanics. All right, guys, so we got this little uh, $250 hot rod Civic running pretty good. Uh, we just vice grips uh, the battery connections onto it and stuff, but uh, runs really good. 
Uh, we're just gonna have to find an exhaust for it. I, I, I usually throw out all my freaking D-series shit because I never use D-series stuff. Um, I did have a header, but I think I scrapped it. So I'm gonna have to get a header and a full exhaust for this thing, and I think I'm actually gonna get a front fender for this side and some bumpers. And I think this car, honestly, is gonna be pretty decent um, as like a daily for now. So um, that's what I think we're gonna do. All the power windows and everything still work in it. Uh, the power locks, all that stuff still works. Uh, not a bad deal for 250 bucks, guys. I mean, yeah, it needs a couple things here and there and didn't run when I bought it, but uh, the old Hunter Tune figured her out pretty quick. So Christian's gonna do an oil change on his car. We actually threw the truck on the dyno, my uh, Yee Yee Mobile right there. So if you guys, uh, I'm gonna throw that clip in now of uh, us dynoing the truck. You'll be in a video. So the truck was on the dyno there a little while ago and uh, we got, uh, the truck barely fits on the roller, but that, that's a 2500, like that's as wide as they get usually, unless you're a damn dually. But uh, the truck does fit with like, you know, only a few inches on each side of the roller, but it does fit nonetheless. Uh, so the truck uh, did lay down, what did it lay down Christian for horsepower? Uh, 412. 412 and like 480 foot pounds of torque on six pounds of boost. So not too shabby that truck's completely bone stock six liter with uh you know s366 billet uh turbo from vs racing that i sell on huntertune.com but uh yeah so the truck did lay down some pretty damn good numbers for six pounds of boost 412 horsepower is not too shabby no so that's pretty good and the dyno loaded the truck like that's a pretty that's a lot of weight on the dyno too and it, it worked out pretty damn good so that's pretty sweet um, I did get this uh, B20 VTEC finished up too for Carlos. Um, he is just missing like a few little things here and there. Uh, the cam seal he did not give me. Uh, the VTEC solenoid gasket I'm missing. Uh, valve cover gasket and I think that's it. But I did throw on his uh, uh, aftermarket AEM True Time cam gears. We got the engine timed up here perfectly and uh, he's got to put his motor mount on here still and some little small things but he can handle that. Um, he still got to get an intake gasket. I think he said he had one. So, um, yeah, but this motor is ready to go. We got the pan all sealed up on it as well. So, uh, I'm probably going to tell him he can come pick up his motor and, uh, I would like to come back out here probably and tear this thing apart to make sure that I can still save the connecting rod over here. That's bad on the hatch, uh, because I want to get, uh, this motor all situated and get a bottom end together in that block. Uh, so that'll be all ready to go and then I just need to get some springs or retainers and then the hatch will be up and going again And then uh, maybe tomorrow or something we'll come out here and I'll pull the motor and trans out of the CRX I would like to do that as well And maybe we'll just use the exhaust from the CRX on the, uh, the new car the new $250 Civic Maybe I'll just take the exhaust off of this because this does have a Megan Racing header on it and uh, I just don't think the cap back will fit. I'll have to find a cap back of some sort um, and I would like some sort of quiet cat back because it's going to be like a daily. So 
um, yeah. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I'm just like, I don't want to pull the motor out of the CRX yet because I'm like, oh, it just runs and drives. Like I, I yeah. feel like it's nice because I can daily it if I want still. Uh, maybe I'll leave the motor and stuff in this until I get a bottom end and a head together for it. And then uh, once I have everything ready to drop in, I'll do it in that's, like a day or two. You know? That's what I would do because we can bust that out in a day. Yeah, it won't take much to put the motor in. No, I, I got to get some axles and stuff too. So um, yeah, but other than that, the CRX is uh, doing good. The, uh, the new car runs really good. And Michael's going to be coming out here shortly. And he's going to be putting his transmission back in his car. So probably put this on the dyno probably tomorrow or something so there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing here um but uh yeah so so yeah i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a minute we got some more fan mail where'd you go over the dinner where'd you go out taco to eat john's oh, that's classy got fish tacos Ooh. it is friday it's been... hey, it ain't you know friday. it's saturday it ain't friday. <laughs> that's what happened when Michael worked six so days. hunter came and saved the day today on michael's differential i actually had a uh, couple dips at my house and Michael just needed the bolts because all of his were completely stripped out on his differential. So he's going to be getting this thing together tonight hey, while I, I go home and edit. Should we ask him what the torque specs are for these? Oh, good dog. It ain't going to fucking matter because I'm going to have it done by the time you see this video. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut your hand. What? Is that the proper torque sequence? I don't know. What do you mean? You better be careful because in reverse it has more torque than forward. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, break away, huh? Uh-huh. It's a real Just lot. put the fucker in the vise and torque it. The vise don't open big enough. It, uh, yeah, it does. It, you could fit this chunk in there. Yeah. Yeah, you put the vise here, you're facing it downwards. You can't fit the gear in to put... You could fit a ratchet is what I'm saying. You just no, have to I'm spin saying the if you open this up all the way to set the diff in like this to do the bolts, it doesn't open big enough for the ring gear. Oh, you tried? Oh, so you know I didn't notice though. I don't know if it matters. But uh, these bolts are different from one. So, are they really? Do you have one of Nothing mine? rides on top. Do you have one of mine to compare? Yeah, let me get let me get one real quick. God damn it. Fuck this reverse thread bullshit. Oh, they're just a cunt hair longer. Here. Nothing rides on it. I think it'll be alright. Hopefully. We'll find out. Don't touch my goddamn water! What the fuck are you talking about? Electric, oh yeah. So we got the Mustang pulled back into the shop here. Christian did a little oil change. He's got to pick up his Tupperware container here. These oh, things did. work really good. How's you? No, it wasn't, fucker. We didn't do that. Yeah, you did. Proof? Look at Michael's old lower control arms. Wow. <laughs> Them are uh, pretty wasted, dude. Yeah, you think my back end was sagging a little bit? I don't know. Anybody, oh, anybody just... wants some LCAs? Uh, like new low low miles, um, fifty buck OBO. Like new mint condition, uh, slightly worn uh, bushings. Uh, their blocks, the new bushings. They made an update for their bushings to get them better. They still suck. They still suck. Oh yeah, this is uh, your blocks. I think that's the same as BWR. Um, you know, it's got red poly bushings as you can see. Uh, we just so much horsepower. It's just got a little bit of exhaust blackness on there. But uh, yeah, so. 50 buck OBO, you know, if anybody wants these, 50 buck OBO, uh, or trade for, uh... A mint running Honda Civic? No, no, I'll trade for another tranny. Yeah, I'll trade for a complete... Complete tranny with an M factory disc? Or trade for a reach around? You deliver? Ah. What'd you say? They deliver, I'm not gonna be dropping off. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my lovely girlfriend did get me a uh, Kitchen Smith Bella 1.7 liter electric kettle, 1500 watts. That's more than my e-cig. That's more literage than my car. No shit. So this is a uh, electric kettle so we can uh, boil water and we can cook our noodles, we can cook our mac and cheese, we can cook all this food. And uh, she also brought me some fucking chamomile tea to have out here. So that's fucking awesome. And uh, she got me a, a teacup. It's already dirty. It's a stay grounded. I wonder if I'm grounded. Yeah, so don't smoke any weed. I've tried this stuff too, Michael. You said don't smoke any weed. No, I saw a CBD. Yeah. yeah this is a CBD pot. Rated? Yeah. Shut up. So yeah, I tried this stuff and uh, I don't know. It works all right, but it definitely isn't for me. I don't think uh, other people <coughs> really like it, but um, you know, it's just not really for me. I know everybody's like, you know, you got anxiety, bro. Go smoke a joint. But I do, and it doesn't really make me feel much better. It just makes me feel really dull, which I don't really like. So. Yeah. So we had a subscriber send in another Amazon Prime Pantry box already. Um, and I didn't even post this video yet for the PO box. Uh, you want to read the... We got, a, we got a note with it, too. Michael, hush up here quick. <clears throat> Sometimes this is... I'm trying to work. That's my impact. Not film. <clears throat> Sometimes this is the best gift a shop can get. Going to have to start charging the boys if they're going to be there. Yeah, who is from, it from? From Adam. Adam. Thank Thanks. you, Adam. Thanks, Adam. What did you send in? Much appreciated, especially for me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Some good old fucking toilet paper. Wavy clean ripple. Dude. Superior clean, our softest and most absorbent. You are looking at the most important part of that toilet paper. Huh? How many ply? <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm looking for. Two ply. Two ply. Fucking perfect. Not bad. You know, the old one ply gas station stuff oh. we've been stealing ain't working out too good. <laughs> Is that borrowing it? The sandpaper? Yeah, we'll return it though. So, <laughs> the sandpaper. Slightly used. <laughs> Slightly used toilet paper, 50 bucks OVO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Michael's lower control arm bushings, yeah. Uh, 50 bucks OVO or, or trade for. Uh, Toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna have everybody sending us fucking toilet paper. I want some more food. Yeah, I'm, Michael I, likes food. I already food. finished the Slim Jims. Yeah, the Slim Jims are already gone. I'm not complaining about the toilet paper. Fuck no. No, that's awesome. Dude. <laughs> that is super awesome, actually. Because you can always use it. Oh, exactly. It's not like you're not gonna wipe your ass tomorrow. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like this. This snap on socket's great. You know what else I bought recently? Screwdriver set. I always give Michael shit because he buys all this freaking shit from the rape truck at his work. The fucking Maco and the hey, Mac tools and snap on tools. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got all my Harbor Freight shit. It works just as good, but that's just me. All right, get a strip 10 mil and see whose wrench takes it off better. I'll just go to Harbor Freight and get a different one. Different 10 mil? They're all the fucking same. You don't got flank drive prop plus. <laughs> what? You have flank drive plus. What's that? There's notches in the wrench so it doesn't slip off. It's great for alignments. Huh. Yeah, you have a busted knuckle on an alignment rack. Feels great. I've tightened these all like three times, I think. I know. Okay. Well, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have Michael Civic on the dyno. And uh, yeah, have a great night and a better tomorrow. And we will see you later. Home. Whatever, dude. I'll fucking. If your car's done, I'll just go blow it up. What do I owe you? 10 second car.